Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me for today's video. First things first. <laughs> That's not what's coming first. First things first, I need to apologise because today's video is not the one that I originally wanted to share. If you watched Thursday's video, at the end of that one you would have heard me say, oh I'm really excited to share another video with you guys on Sunday, it's a really really good one. Sorry. We tried filming it throughout the week, it didn't quite pan out how I was expecting it to. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to have another crack at it and I'm going to continue trying to film it because it is something I really want to film. So apologies that that one is not today. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole of this month and pick out my five favourite outfits. Now of course the title is my five favourite Instagram outfits. Yes, because of course I have posted them on Instagram, but these are outfits that I generally wear as well. So here we go, we have my five favourite outfits of the month. Starting off with outfit number one, and I wore this look last week, it was when we had the heat wave. So this is one of the most recent looks that I've posted on Instagram. And lots of you went crazy for this because of course, I am wearing a dress. Oh, shock horror. Yes, I do actually wear dresses in summer. Um, so let's dissect the outfit, shall we? So first of all, we have got quite an oversized, very light wash denim jacket on. Now this is actually about a year and a half old um, and it's from Revolve. It's by the brand Girlfriend Denim, which is one of the um, exclusive brands to Revolve. But I do believe they stock Girlfriend now on net a -Porter. I know they stock it in Selfridges and maybe a few other places in the UK as well, but I always tend to buy my Girlfriend from Revolve. Um, yeah, it's a really oversized jacket. It's got lots of kind of frayed and distressed details on it. I sized up in this one, got a size medium so that it was super, super oversized. Uh, but I will link some similar options down below because I don't believe that this one is actually available anymore. Now the dress, because I'm sure this is what we're all wondering. So if you have shopped this look already over on the shop, my Instagram page on my blog, then you'll know exactly where it's from. But for those of you that haven't, and maybe those of you who are new, hello, hi, how are you? Uh, it is actually from Forever 21. Now I mentioned in Thursday's video that I did a little bit of a spree in Forever 21. It's a shop that I haven't shopped in in years, probably about four or five years, crazy. Um, but I did have a browse online recently and I picked up a few bits. Um, so this is a red checked or gingham, if you like, it's an oversized gingham print dress. It does have straps on. I'll take this jacket off in a minute so I can show you guys. But the detail that I love the most, and no, I'm not wearing a bra with this dress, guys, is this little knot detail here and a tiny, tiny little triangular piece of flesh which pokes out here in the stomach area, which I really like. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice, cute summer dress. It was super hot on the day that I wore it. I think I had, I had a coffee meeting, I remember that much. And then Simon said he'd come and meet me for lunch. So we actually went for lunch um, and this is what I wore. So yeah, it was just nice for kind of when the city's super, super hot, it's nice to have something with ventilation, you know. And um, yeah, let me just take the jacket off so that I can show you properly and I can also show you the back. Okay, here we go. So I've taken the jacket off. So it is essentially just a little strappy sundress. On the back, nothing particularly exciting, but it does have adjustable straps, which I think is always a bonus for anything like this, because depending on boob size, of course, you might need to adjust the straps. For me, I always need to put them a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, that is the dress. Very, very cute. Really nice for summer. Now, let's move on to the bag. This is my Simon Miller Bonsai bag. This is the medium size. They do a super tiny size, and now they also do a ginormous massive size. Now, this one is the one with wooden handles, which unfortunately Unfortunately, it's just not available anymore for some reason. So I've had to link the slightly newer version, which is still tan, but it has like a tortoiseshell handles. They're actually very beautiful and I kind of really like that one as well, but 
This one is the one that I bought last year. So that's the bag. Now let's move on to the jewelry. So up here, I have three necklaces, so I've layered them. This top one here, just a delicate choker, which is from Cinco. This one here is a little spinner. I'm gonna try and do that one-handed, terrible. Uh, that is also a, uh, from Cinco, sorry. And then this longer one is my favourite necklace of all time and it is a long bobble chain, that is the long bobble chain from Misoma. And then the pendant is the Mini Marie from Monica Venada. It's the necklace that I've kind of made together from two of my favourite jewellery brands. And yeah, I just make it into what I would deem the perfect necklace. Really, really good for layering. Uh, Cartier Ballon Blue watch. I've got red nails, which I did have with this dress, coincidentally, but obviously not all of the outfits that I'm gonna show you today will I have had red nails because I'm kind of doing like a little look back at them. Um, and then the shoes, these are old wedges. These are from Wedge Espadrilles from ASOS. Now again, these are from last year, but I love them so much because they have this gorgeous kind Kind of tan colour ribbon and then the actual shoe part itself is almost like it's kind of like a sack it's like that natural wave and fabric now unfortunately guys those are no longer available I'm afraid so I'm going to link some alternative options for you below to have a look at so there we have it that is my first favorite look from April oh sunglasses I forgot them sorry these are Ray-Ban rounds these are the sunglasses that I wore with this look and there you have it outfit number one let's move on to the next outfit number two two and this is what I was wearing I think this was towards the middle of the month we had a couple of really really nice days it was kind of like spring had become too uh sprung <laughs> spring had sprung so this is what I chose to wear now I posted this one twice on Instagram I posted a little snippet a half body and then I posted the full length version so you guys could see what shoes I was wearing um so let's dissect the outfit again now up top this is probably one of my favourite items for this season that I have bought recently. So this I think I featured in one of my hauls, it might have been my last monthly haul. Um, and it is from Cezanne and it is a silk blouse, a silk wrap blouse and it is so beautiful. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I think it's sold out and I know so many of you wanted to try and get your hands on it and unfortunately it's sold so so quickly which is really really sad but it is beautiful it's kind of an ochre colour with a white spot the fabric is beautiful it drapes nicely it's got a little popper here as well which is good for kind of with a wrap blouse like this sometimes you can get a bit of like flapping and then a boob pops out which is never ideal despite what some people may think um so yes that is the blouse very very nice hopefully they will restock it keep an eye on my social media because i'll always tweet a link to it or i'll put something on my insta stories if it does happen to come back in stock now bottoms i have a pair of these are not white they might look white on camera but they're actually cream and they are a high-waisted jean from mango they have a full button-up fly which i love i love a button-up fly and they have like a contrast stitching and the stitching actually matches the color on the blouse which is why i paired these two together now they are slightly cropped which is handy because then it shows off the little lace up or kind of tie detail on the espadrilles and to finish le basket bag <laughs> terrible absolutely terrible so this one i bought from topshop last year yeah last spring summer um but they've brought out the exact same bag for this year i think it actually is it the exact same it might be a little bit smaller i don't know i haven't actually seen it in the flesh if it were a little bit smaller that actually wouldn't be such a bad thing because this is a little bit cumbersome sometimes but it's good for fitting all your crap in if you're one of those people that carries around a lot of crap i think it goes amazingly well with this outfit and yeah it's really good for whacking people with as well like when you're on the tube and you're trying to barge people just give them a smack with your basket bag 
job done. Now, necklace wise, I have got two pieces here from the Etsy seller who I regularly talk about, and that's Holly, Holly J, that's her shop. Um, so first of all, I have a little compass up top, and then this one here, which is kind of like a disc, but perforated with little stars. It's very, very cute, really delicate, always on really, really delicate chains as well, which I think is really nice. And then because I was going for a very kind of old school heroin vibe, I put on some gold hoops. I'd say these are like medium size hoop. These were from Topshop, I think, and they came in a pack of about three with lots of different sizes in there. But the sunglasses are what I love the most. These are from And Other Stories, and again, I featured these in my last first of the month haul. Um, and they were super, super affordable. They were 13 pounds, but I just love that the collar, the collar, the color of them kind of complements the rest of the outfit and everything just kind of sits nicely together. So yes, that is outfit number two. On to outfit number three. And I would wear this again, actually. I love this outfit. Um, now, why did I wear this outfit? I do remember. Oh, I had so many meetings in central London and because I knew I was going to be going from one side of London to the other and jetting around, I wanted to test out the trainers. Now, these were the trainers which were in my spring trends video and they are, of course, dad trainers. I'm going to crouch down so you guys can see them a bit better. So these ones are from River Island and as I mentioned in that trends video I wanted to get a pair that weren't particularly expensive so these were under £40, really reasonable and I just basically wanted to test out the trend. These also come in black as well for anyone that's interested and Topshop have also got lots and lots of different styles of these. In fact pretty much every high street retailer has now got dad trainers. Um, but yeah I wanted to test them out because I was going to be doing a lot of running around London, not actual running but you know what I mean, rushing from here and there and so I wanted to test and see if they were actually comfortable and they are. The good news is they are very comfortable however what I will say is that because they have got rather a large amount of rubber on the soles and this giant bit which sticks out at the back they're quite heavy. Now this is a good thing because it makes you feel like you're actually doing a bit of a workout as you're going around um, so yeah if you need like a little shoe that's going to help tone your legs these are definitely the ones for that. Now if I move up to the top half of the outfit, I have one of my favourite blazers of the season on. This is from And Other Stories. Now I believe this is currently sold out, so I think the link might take you to something completely different or it might just say page doesn't exist. So I'm really sorry about that, but maybe have a look in store and see if you can find it. It's basically a brown checked blazer with some tortoiseshell buttons and it is double breasted as well, but I just love it. I love the fabric. I love the check. It's just a really nice blazer for kind of slouching around over jeans. Now I wore this over one of my favorite t-shirts, which is by Redone. And this is the boyfriend t-shirt with the pocket here, which, can you see? Yeah, there we go. Um, so I sized up in this one, I got a small, because this comes massive. I would have normally got an extra small in this t-shirt, but sized up and got a small, and it is absolutely ginormous, but I love that. I love a big slouchy t-shirt. Then in terms of jeans, these are my Zara mum jeans. Now, lots of you will remember I bought these last year, last summer, featured them in my first ever Zara haul, and have loved them ever since. And luckily, they bring out this style time and time again. And for me, I just love this kind of length. It's short, it's cropped, comes above the ankle. I know lots of you say that you get drafty ankles. I don't normally suffer from that, but um, I just love this kind of crop length because it really shows off whatever shoes you're wearing as well. Now, bag wise, I went for Jacqueline. So this is my vintage Chanel. If anyone hasn't seen her yet, I did a video all about her and how you can buy designer bags, vintage, secondhand, there's a lot of new as well on Vestiaire, so check that one out if you want a full kind of review. I also did a What's In My Handbag with Jacqueline as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would kind of use Jacqueline, inject a bit of Chanel to a very kind of casual outfit. And then jewellery and accessories wise, usual watch, I've just been wearing this constantly. 
um, and then this is my Cinco Ginger necklace. So this is the one with the little world on it. And I just wore that one to keep it simple and my usual stacked mini hoop huggies. And then sunglasses. I went for my big, bold Celine Baby Audrey's. And there we have it. That is outfit number three. On to outfit number four. And my goodness, doesn't this show a lot of leg? Now this is actually my favorite favorite. This is my favorite out of all five of the looks I'm featuring in this video today. And I only wore this one, it was last week, and why did I wear it? I think I had a meeting and then I think this, me and Simon went out to a shop to get something adjusted and then we went out to lunch. We go out for lunch a lot because <laughs> only one of us in this relationship can cook so we have to. Um, and yes I definitely remember being sat down in a restaurant in this skirt because I felt very self-conscious because when you sit down this skirt is already super short and it gets even shorter. Um, I actually took this skirt to Florida and wore it in Disneyland on our first day. Probably not the best idea because if anyone's ever been to Disneyland or got on a ride before you know how unglamorous it is. You've got to climb over everything in this skirt. I flashed a lot of underpants. So what have we got on? Well let's start off with the blazer. This is standard Emma isn't it? So I've got a checked blazer on here. This one is from Find and yeah it's beautiful. Really really nice. I like these buttons. They're like a white. They're actually not white. They're almost like frosted but they look quite white. And then the check in the blazer has got like a yellowy lime green colour that runs through it. So it's quite a nice update for spring. Similar to was it the Pull and Bear one that I featured in my five blazers for under £35 video? It's kind of got that vibe to it. And um, this one is a little bit more of a structured fabric though, but it's the double breasted style, which is my fave. And yeah, it's just a really nice blazer. It's kind of nice and long as well, which is exactly what I was looking for in this outfit because I knew I was going to wear it with a skirt. So onto the skirt, it is black denim and this is from Mango. As I've said, it is super, super short, so it's not the most ideal skirt for sitting down in um, or for going on rides. So just to note that if you were just fancying going on a few rides in your everyday life. Underneath the blazer, I have one of my camis. Sorry, I'm just trying to move around just so we can kind of get the right light. So this is the black one. I think I featured this in Thursday's video as well. Um, it's just a really good basic and because it was so hot, I just wanted something that wasn't a t-shirt, something without sleeves. So if you get a bit warm, you can waft. You see, I'm all about the wafting. Uh, Bag-wise, Jacqueline again. She's had a great month, hasn't she, Jacqueline? She's been out all over the town. Uh, necklaces, I think I wore this combo in one of the other outfits. So we've got Cinco, Cinco, Miss Oma Chain, Monica Venada pendant. I just like this kind of wearing a choker at the top and then two round pendants. This is my favorite layering. So this is my go-to layering option at the moment. Cartier watch and then the boots, these were also in Thursday's video. And I'm sorry because I didn't actually try them on. So apologies for that. But now you guys can see them on. They are, yes, they are quite narrow, but there is a little bit of gap down there on the ankles, but they're so beautiful, they're so comfortable. I wear them with like tiny little pop socks, almost like trainer socks, and that's just so that we don't get any socks poking at the top, but they're so nice. They're such a wearable kind of everyday heel. And I just think that they look awesome. I'm saying to you guys in Thursday's video that this is how I kind of wear boots in summer, either with a little dress or something like this, which is a little bit, a little bit more, I don't know, rock and rolly, I guess. Um, but yeah, really, really good boot. Very, very comfortable. And then sunglasses, just to top it off, are my Ray-Ban rounds so there we go very kind of rock and roll quite a nina bing inspired i'm not gonna lie outfit number three no it's not number three is it it's outfit number four come on emma get your shiz together right now for my fifth and final favorite outfit of april 2018 
is this one. And now I wore this again, I think around the middle of the month. Um, we had one really nice, I remember this was worn on a Sunday. We had a really nice Sunday. Simon and I went down to South Bank, we sat outside, we had a drink, we had a wander along the river, and it was just really nice. So let's break down the outfit, shall we? On top, I've gone back to that little pocket redone t-shirt and now you guys can see the fit of it properly. It's quite long, it comes down to about here, but it's just super oversized. It just washes really well. The quality of these t-shirts is amazing. Now, I know for those of you in the UK, you can buy redone over here. You can buy it on, oh, there's a bit of thread there. You can buy it on net -a -Porte, I think maybe even Selfridges, maybe a couple of other retailers, matches possibly. Um, but I would actually advise you to buy it from the States because the customs charges obviously is going to be 20% plus whatever handling fee. It's so much cheaper in the States. I buy all my redone jeans from the States and just have them shipped over because over here they're more than twice the price. Sorry because the dogs just wandered in. I'm just reversing backwards making sure they're not there. Um, yeah, two of my favourite kind of colours here. Black. <laughs> Not that that's a colour. And then this ochre sort of camel tan kind of colour. Um, so these trousers are like a twill trouser. They're really, really nice fa fabric. Quite thick, but in no means heavy for spring, summer. So just because I say thick doesn't mean that they're heavy and uncomfortable. Um, they are from Cezanne. <laughs> Don't you just love this studs? I think I should do this more often. I look like I'm about to Irish jig. Um, and as you can see, they are a wide leg and cropped style. They're just super comfortable. The only thing I don't particularly like about these trousers is that they have no pockets. They have this tiny little thing up here, which can you see how far that goes down? Like seriously, what can you even put in there? Nothing. Uh, excuse me. Hey. Excuse me, I'm trying to film a video here. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, pointless pocket, I just like a pocket. Having said that, it does give them a really nice shape. Just a really good, nice pair of trousers. These also come in, I know they come in pink, I think they might also come in black. They're called June trousers. And uh, yes, they're just very nice. Just a little size note about Cezanne sizing. They come up very small. Damn you French people, you do small sizes and it makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> Shoes, right, now these are the Hermes dupes is what I'm calling them because they are very, very similar to the Hermes Oran slides of which I have a pair of in tan. So because I have the tan Hermes slides, I decided to get these in black. They are super duper comfortable. And of course, we were going for the whole black and tan theme here. So that's why I opted for those. Again, I've gone for Jacqueline. And then to tie in all the golden bits and barbs, two necklaces. So I've got this one is the Misoma uh, mini fang necklace from the Lucy Williams collection. And then again, same as I wore earlier, the long Misoma bobble chain with the mini Marie pendant from Monica Venada usual earrings and sunglasses wise I went for the big old Celine's and that is the complete outfit and there we go that was my five favorite outfits which I posted on Instagram this month now if you enjoyed this video maybe you would like it as a regular thing a kind of outfit summary if you will at the end of every month then do let me know down in the comments below I do understand that there's some of you that don't like these kind of videos because you get motion sickness I'm really sorry about that but I do try and keep the camera as still as is humanly possible now Moving on to next week, we have a vlog on Tuesday. Of course, we're heading off to Kos. On Thursday, I have a new Chic for Less video and it's gonna be on summer dresses. So there's gonna be five summer dresses up for grabs. Remember, there's always a giveaway in my Look Chic for Less videos as well. So I will see you guys next week and thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Right, slight change of plan. Me and my uh, lunch date, Jude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>